I felt like having seafood today and there's a new place that I've never been to that I want to go to today. He had Joe's, but formerly it's called Joe's Crab Shack. Love the music they're playing here too. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be trying the fish and chips that I got from Joe's Crab Shack. And you can see here, comes in a box here. First time trying this in a box. That's how they make, they decide to do at Joe's Crab Shack. But you can't really see it from this view, but I'm gonna pull one right out right here. Ooh, it's big. Wow, look at how big it is. Here's the fish, it's crispy. And they gave me french fries too, which is right here. I'll show you from a different view. And they also gave me ketchup, and they also asked for tartar sauce too. Oh, and they also gave me coleslaw right here. And here's the tartar sauce. And they have the choice of an option of having cocktail sauce, but I prefer just to have the tartar sauce. And here's the ketchup here. Hence, tomatoes ketchup. So when I ordered the fish and chips from Joe's Crab Shack, it was $17.99, and with tax, it was $1.25. And they also have a pickup fee, which I don't know why but on their website when I ordered online, it was 90 cents, and in total it came out to be $20.14. All right, so here's the fish and chips from this view. I just unopened the box here, so you can see it in a better view. But it, here's the fish, it's crispy, and it's actually really big here compared to the video I did on the Cheesecake Factory. They were a lot smaller. It comes in two big, crispy fried fish strips and underneath here is the french fries you can see there that looks delicious can't wait to try this all right so now i'm going to try the fish and chips i'm going to pull out a fish strip right here you can see that looks crispy and fried i'm excited to try this so let's go ahead and see how this tastes. That first bite was really delicious. I could taste the fish inside of it as well as the fried and crispy part of the fish. We take out a french fry here too. Mm. This is my first time going to Joe's Crab Shack and obviously, it's similar to Red Lobster, and what they serve is normally seafood, one of the obvious. And this fish and chip here is actually really delicious. It's so tasty. Let me also try it with tartar sauce too. That would go well when dipped in. Here you go, and here's the fish. Dip that in. Ooh, look at that. Yes, that looks delicious. So let's go ahead and see how this tastes now. Mmm. This is real tartar sauce from a seafood restaurant. Mmm. I'm definitely a huge fan of fish and chips. Mm. 
try a little bit of sour salt with a french fry. Mmm. <laughs> I'm also going to try ketchup too. It goes better with the french fries. Just take out one piece here. Just try to put it on here. Nothing falls. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> So overall, I enjoyed the fish and chips that I got from Joe's Crab Shack. The fish strips itself were well crispy, breaded, and really tasty. Especially that first bite when I tried it. And it goes well when I dip it in with tartar sauce too. As well as the french fries when I dip it in with ketchup too. Unlike Red Robin's where I tried it there, their fish and chips were a lot soggier. But here at Joe's Crab Shack, they actually make real seafood places. That's why the fish and chips were much better here. So overall, I would give this a 4.75 out of 5. I would definitely recommend you guys trying this. And this is my first time being here at Joe's Crab Shack. If you didn't know, they also have another Joe's Crab Shack down in near Nassau Park or Princeton area off of Route 1. However, they went out of business and they decided to close down. I remember driving down Route 1, they would have the Joe's Crab Shack, but that was when I was younger. But now they have one up here in South Plainfield, the one that I'm at right now. They also have other places in New Jersey. I haven't checked, but they also, I'm not sure they have it in other states too, as well like Pennsylvania or New York. But definitely I would like to try this place here in my future videos. So hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.